I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a carrot underground and above ground. So I take three fingers in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a straight line to the left, a little straight line to the right. I come back to the left and I just draw a little skinny curved line connect. I come over here on the right and I draw a wavy, wavy line all the way to the edge of my paper. Jump over, I draw another wavy, wavy line going to the left to the edge of that side. Right here in the middle, I put a little dot. From that dot, I draw a big curved line up and over, leave it floating, and then I draw Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, and it doesn't matter how it looks. Curve line, connect. I come back to the dot and I draw another big curve line over. And then in going back, I draw curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. This is above ground. This is what if you saw. Looking down at a garden, this would be the part of the carrot that you would see. Now we're going to draw the part underground that you don't see. So starting right here at this point, I draw a straight diagonal down and leave it floating. I come to the right hand side, I draw a straight diagonal down and connect. Inside, I draw one, two, three, four, five little straight lines on the left, one, two, three, four little straight lines on the right, one, two, three, four, five little straight lines going down. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brown and I'm going to color this very top part at the tippy top. And then I'm going to take my brown and I'm going to color underneath my line, jump over underneath my line so that I know this is underground. I'm going to draw a lighter, bigger loop-de-loop -loop, up, down, up, down, around so that I know this is underground. Next, I'm going to take my green and I'm going to put little green straight lines on the top part of my line so that I know that part is above ground. This green is also above ground. So if you were looking at a garden that had carrots growing in it, the only part you would probably see is the part that we're coloring right now. You would see the green tops of the carrots because the carrots, the part that we know, I'm going to color in with my orange, and that is underground. It's below the top. And look how far down it goes. So when you harvest a carrot, you have to pull it up and out in order to get it to come free. So that whole space is orange. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my carrot all colored in. These are called root vegetables because they're underground. This part is the part that you would pull on and that you would see if you were in a garden. Okay, bye-bye.